today in this video we're going to be talking about a great win that we just received in the case of Miller v Bonta. This is a decision that once again has been handed down by Roger T. Benitez, the famous Saint Benitez that we've talked about before. This was a challenge to California's assault weapons ban. And Roger Benitez has said that the ban is unconstitutional. Again. Now, a little backstory on this because I think it's instructive. So, the original case actually gets pretty granular in its analysis. California has, has, well, I guess technically had, although there is a 10-day stay on this decision. We'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. But California has this assault weapons ban that effectively says that if a firearm has certain cosmetic features, then it's illegal to possess in California. One of those is that if it has a fixed magazine capable of holding more than 10 rounds, it is statutorily defined as an assault rifle. Now, that, that's actually not an entirely accurate statement. The first level of analysis has to be, is it a center fire semi-automatic firearm? If it is, then we move on to the next level of analysis and ask, does it have a detachable magazine? If it does have a detachable magazine, then we ask, does it have one or more evil features like collapsible stocks, flash suppressors, pistol grips, things like that. But then there is a subsection that says if it is a fixed magazine, then if it and it's capable of holding more than 10 rounds, then it automatically becomes an assault rifle. Now, for those of you who've watched some of these videos or have been following, you know, Judge Benitez, you may remember the case of Duncan v. Becerra or Duncan v. Bonta, where he ruled that standard capacity magazines were, you know, to any sort of ban was unconstitutional. And there was a brief period of time, about one week period of time back in 2019, euphemistically referred to as Freedom Week, where you could buy standard capacity magazines and you are still allowed to legally possess those standard capacity magazines. Well, if you had a standard capacity magazine that you were lawfully allowed to purchase and you were to then insert it into your AR-15 that has a fixed magazine system, an AR mag lock or a Patriot pin or something that requires a disassembly of the action before removing the firearm, then you are now committing a felony. So you could have a, a, a California compliant, completely legal rifle, and you could have a Freedom Week magazine, completely legal, but the minute you put the two together, you've suddenly created a felony. So in the case of Miller, the, court, the, the plaintiffs had gone to Benitez to specifically challenge that section of the law. Effectively, they were arguing that, hey, you know, you, you were the one, Benitez, that, you know, created Freedom Week and now have put all these people into the position of inadvertently becoming felons. Well, Benitez, in his original ruling on uh, Miller, said, easy enough to correct the problem, the entirety of California's assault weapons ban is unconstitutional. We're done. Now, okay. Well, that case went to the Ninth Circuit, and then uh, we ended up having our, Benit our uh, New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin ruling. And now it's all the way back before Benitez again. Benitez rehears the case, now using the new constitutional test as articulated in Bruin, and to no one's surprise, says the assault weapons ban is still unconstitutional. Okay, guys, I'm pausing this video for just a moment. USCCA, which sponsors these videos, they are doing a giveaway right now. It's very cool, and you're gonna wanna participate. Now, it ends fairly soon, so you're gonna wanna get on it. You can read all about it in the description below this video. All right, let's get back to the content. It's interesting in the opening parts of his, uh, of his opinion, though, and it shows you that Benitez does pay attention to what's going on outside of his courtroom. So in his original opinion, 
he starts off by saying the AR-15 is the Swiss army knife of firearms. Well, all sorts of politicians that were anti or are anti-gun really took offense to that statement. I mean, that really, really, really seemed to bother them. Well, in this new opinion, he starts off by saying, like the Bowie knife, which was commonly carried by citizens and soldiers in the 1800s, assault weapons are dangerous, but useful. Little bit of a poke at those politicians. The other one that he puts in at the very beginning, it is our duty as judges to interpret the Constitution based on the text and original understanding of the relevant provision, not on public policy considerations, or worse, fear of public approbation or criticism from political branches. It's basically telling the governor of California who criticized his original opinion to go screw off. Anyways, it, it's a very, very good opinion. Very Roger Benitez um, spends an interesting amount of time prior to getting into the argument of the opinion, essentially saying, you know, we spend all this time looking at these very few statistically um, criminal actions that are, that are uh, you know, uh, done with AR-15s and AK-47s and things like that. We spend absolutely no time looking at the legal use of these firearms, especially in self-defense situations. And he runs through a litany of people that had been victimized by criminals and used AR-15s in order to defend themselves. And then obviously he goes into his traditional Bruin analysis and of course comes to the conclusion, which we knew he would do, that the law bears absolutely no historical analogy to anything that exists. In fact, it's frankly arbitrary and capricious because it simply bans a firearm based on its cosmetic characteristics. Anyways, he overturns it. Now, like he did in the Duncan case, because the state knew what was coming, they had requested a 10-day stay so that they could appeal his decision. Once again, he's given them a 10-day stay. This will now go before the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is absolutely going to uh, give an injunction against his decision and have a hearing on this it's not entirely clear how the Ninth Circuit is going to ultimately go on this one. I, I'm going to, you know, counsel you on that one right out the bat. First of all, it's an extremely strong decision, and it's going to be very difficult for the Ninth Circuit to justify only coming up with a small cadre of jurists who are anti-gun that are going to be focusing just on the Benitez decisions. Irrespective of that, um, it's ultimately going to go to the Supreme Court. This will not just affect California. This will ultimately affect the entirety of the United States because I do believe this is going to go before the Supreme Court and this is going and the Supreme Court, notwithstanding a change of makeup in the Supreme Court, and if they are consistent with their Bruin decision, they would ultimately find that these restrictions on the possession of AR-15s or making it look like a plumber built the AR-15 are in fact unconstitutional. We'll have to watch to see what happens, but it, it you know, every time we have a victory, um, we need to be able to celebrate that, and this is absolutely a victory. I do encourage you to read Benitez's opinion. They're, they're always brilliant and really enjoyable to read, but with that, if you need to email me, by all means do so at art, Stephen at ArtemisHQ.com. And as always, train constantly, train consistently, train repetitively, and train with purpose. Above all else, stay safe. Before you go, you just missed one of our best videos that got over a half a million views. Click right here to watch it now.